Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ragini. Good afternoon, Shravya. Good afternoon, Daksh. Okay. Okay, no issues, right? Good afternoon. Okay, no issues. So, if only you have watched the video on circulatory circulatory system, that would be enough. I hope all of you have watched the videos on circulatory system at least, right? Very good, Aditya. Okay. See, because when you have already watched the videos, then you can relate, right? What are the important points, and you can understand better. Okay, that's why. I ask you to watch videos before the class, right? Yes, guys, it gives a basic uh, visual understanding of the chapter. Okay, now we will start this chapter, which is transportation in plants and animals, right? Now, when we think about it, when we think about the transportation in plants and animals, right? Just think about transportation. It is transportation in. It is not transportation by, right, everyone? Okay. So it's not that it, 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 this chapter is not about moving up like an animal or a human from one place to another place, right? It is about the movement of, tell me, movement of something inside our body, right, everyone? Think about it, yes or no, right? Now, when we talk about the movement, okay, or when we talk about the different, yeah, different processes of human body, I'm talking about human body, I'll just take human body as a reference, okay. We saw our respiratory system and digestive system till now, yes or no? Tell me. We saw digestive system as well as respiratory system, right? Now, tell me, what was, what was digestive system? Tell me, what was digestive system? Everyone, recall what we have studied in digestive system. Tell me, yeah, so digestive system is a process by which we intake food, right? We digest food, right? And we remove food from our body, right? Or waste product from our body, not food. Yes. Okay. So how this is being done inside our body is your digestive system. What about respiratory system? Tell me, what about respiratory system? Everyone, think about it and let me know what about respiratory system. Yes. So I can say that respiratory system is about, tell me, respiratory system is about movement of gases, right? Movement of gases, okay, right? Inside our body and how that oxygen is required for energy production. Yes, Ado, got it, right? Okay, now after that, suppose, okay, we have our broken down food. Okay, we have our broken down food, we have our oxygen, right? Now in respiratory system, okay, we studied that, okay, the oxygen, right, and carbon dioxide is exchanged, right, in lungs. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right, between capillaries and Alveoli. Got it? Between capillaries and alveoli. Yes? Okay, very good. Now, think about it. Let, let's, let's try to simplify each and everything. Okay, let's think about it. If I'm talking about the whole process, so I can say that, okay, suppose oxygen, right? Oxygen is my goods, right? On objects, right? Okay. This oxygen, suppose oxygen is your object, right? Right? Then I can say that lungs is your, tell me, lungs is like a shop, yes or no? Tell me, right? Or, ex, or lungs is basically your exchange platform, right? Where oxygen is given, carbon dioxide is taken, yes? Think about it, yes or no? Right? But, but my question would be, if oxygen, if oxygen exchanged in lungs, right, then how can the, all the other body parts receive oxygen? Tell me, we have already, 
got a basic idea, right? That through blood, right, everyone? Through blood. Blood carries oxygen throughout our body, right? And yes, Aditya. And it, tell me. It carries carbon dioxide back. Yes or no? Blood vessels, right? Now, if I want to imagine, so I can say that, okay, blood is like a delivery agent. Yes or no? Blood is like a delivery agent, right? He picks up a parcel from one place and, or blood is your postman, like this, right? He picks up all the oxygen from the post office, right? Which is your lungs and then distributed to every home, which are different part of our body, different cells, different organs, right? And then he take the mail from each post of post box and then send it to post office. Yes or no? Right? Got it? Okay. Right. Now, the whole process, this whole process is called a circulatory system, right? The process by which the blood is circulated all throughout our body is called a circulatory system. Right, everyone? Right? So what is circulatory system? Tell me if I'm asking you, what is circulatory system? And what do you say? What is circulatory system? Tell me. Mute everyone, right? You need not to speak. Just tell me. Message? Yes, right? Yeah, this Basically, system. this is a system, right? This is a system or this is a process by which blood is transported throughout our body, right? Okay. Okay, sorry, yeah, I was muted, right? Now it's fine, right? So I was saying that you can imagine, you can imagine this whole circulatory system with different examples, right? It's better to understand with the basic examples or anything which can be related with the circulatory system. Okay, so I'm just relating with a water distribution system, right? Just think about a water distribution system, okay? Even your home, right? Just take a small example of water distribution system, right? In someone's home, not here with the Nagar, I'm just talking about in general, okay? So when you talk about this, I can say that I'm having a source of water, right? Be it a pump or something, underground water, yes or no, tell me, right? Okay, now from there, right? Or suppose a water tank, right? From there, I need to supply water to all the houses, what we need, tell me, what do we need? Think about it. If I have to supply water, okay, from, yes, very good, Arab, right? Pump, we need pump now, right? I hope all of you have seen the pumps in Vidyanagar also, right? Got it? So that is the role of pump, right? To transport water from one point, which is a water tank, to different homes, yes? Okay, now obviously don't you think that if this need of transportation, there should be a, something like pump in our body also? Right? Okay, so what is that pump inside our body? Tell me, I hope all of you know, right? What is that pump? Hurt, right? Very good, right? Yes. So if I want to think about the parts of the circulatory system, right? So we talked about blood because blood 
is being transported right second something which pumps the blood right so that is your that is your heart right the third thing is just ask yourself okay if water is being transported right it cannot be transported like in any things right it cannot be transported in a, uh, what you can say plastic bags or something like that right there should be some pipes yes or no some pipes yes got it so obviously when we talk about blood transportation in our body we should have some pipe like thing yes that is your blood vessels right so there are different type of blood vessels we will study about that okay but in nutshell i can say that okay i'm having three things blood which is being transported pump which is your heart heart roads basically which is the path of the blood transportation right which is blood vessels got it everyone tell me got it right okay right so if we got the basic idea we will see how this actually happens okay so i'll just show you the video we will just see the video because it is a better understanding right i hope all of you already watched the videos then we will discuss each and every part okay got it right everyone yes very good if you watch the videos very good you will have a better understanding it won't be fast for you guys right because videos might pause in between okay so if you have already watched it is better for you okay very good everyone okay so shall we start tell me shall we start i'll keep explaining in between okay ha uh, no issues we will that's why we will we will see video again also okay right let's see i have shared the sound of screen okay so if you don't want to listen you can just reduce your voice okay right okay if the voice lags in the video please let me know okay so ready everyone ready okay very good everyone Glucose getting transported around your body, or as you take a breath in, how does that oxygen get transported around? Did something happen? Transported around, or when you exhale, how does that carbon dioxide get transferred out? Are these only questions I ponder during breakfast? Maybe. But your circulatory system is absolutely fascinating and highly involved in this. In this short intro video of the circulatory system, we will mention some basics about its functions and trace the pathway of how blood travels through your heart. But please know before we get started, there are gigantic textbooks on the circulatory system itself. So, obviously this video is just an intro. We're going to first talk about sorry so manita i was saying that i will be explaining each and every process so don't worry okay got it right just watch the video once because i think not everyone might have watched it okay then we'll explain each and every process okay manita got it so it will take hardly 4 5 minutes i'll explain then we'll complete the video okay right okay blood the medium of how we transport glucose and gases as we mentioned in our body systems intro video from many years ago there are some misconceptions human blood is red and always red although the shade of red can vary based on how much oxygen is in the blood veins and arteries are often drawn in diagrams as blue or red to show whether they have lower or higher concentrations of oxygen but that's just how it is used in most diagrams it doesn't mean the blood or the veins or the arteries are actually that color veins that you see under your skin may look blue or green but that involves the way they appear under the skin and the reason for this would make a great physics topic but i digress 
Human blood has a lot of functions. It maintains a certain pH, temperature, osmotic pressure. All of this is very important for homeostasis. It transports things like hormones, nutrients, and gases. And it's made up of different components. One component includes plasma, the liquid portion. Water, proteins, salts, lipids. You'll find them in this liquid portion of blood known as plasma. Another component includes cellular components. This means red blood cells, which do the transporting of gases, white blood cells, which can fight infections, and platelets, which are actually cellular fragments, and they're involved with helping your blood clot. Very important when they're... Okay, so right, so this is, this is the first part, right? Now, when we talk about blood, I hope all of you have understood till now. Okay, the first portion is blood. Right. So first thing that we should ask, okay, if I'm talking about blood, so what are, right, what is blood? What is it composed of? Okay. So blood itself, when we talk about blood as a red liquid, yes or no, tell me red liquid, yes or no. Right. But it is not just one component. Blood consists of different components. Right. Okay. Now, what does blood consist of? It's, it's just, just, just imagine like this. Okay. Suppose when you talk about blood, it has different type of cells and it has a liquid in which that cell is mixed. Okay. Now, when you talk about red blood cells, white blood cells, okay. So, these are the type of cells which is present in blood, right, which is actually a liquid. When you talk about liquid, right, that liquid is your plasma. Got it? Tell me. Yes or no? Right? Yes? Okay. Now, when we talk about Plasma, think about it. When you talk about plasma, okay, so what is plasma? What is the component of plasma? Think about it. Think about it, guys. Yes. So basically, when you talk about all the nutrients, right? When you talk about all the nutrients, right? It is carried in this plasma and basically right? It is also the medium, okay, right? Which, or it is also the part of blood which contains cells, okay, platelets, everything. Got it, right? Yes, all the minerals, whatever is required is in plasma, okay? Now, when you talk about the other part of the blood, it is cells. The cell is basically your red blood cells, white blood cells, yes or no? Tell me, red blood cells, white blood cells, right? Now, when you talk about red blood cells, if you see this red blood cells, okay, so I can say that, see this red blood cells, right? So this is the responsible, this red blood cells is responsible for transportation of oxygen, yes or no? Because, right, this consists of something called hemoglobin. My voice is breaking, everyone. Is my voice fine? Guys, tell me, my, my voice is fine or breaking? It's clear, right? Brinda, it's clear. Okay. So, yeah. So, I can say that, okay, red blood cells contain homoglobin, right? So, the work of this red blood cells is mainly to carry oxygen, right? Now, what is this about white blood cells? Yes, Arav, right? That's what people do, okay? Right? Nowadays, they can separate all the different part of blood. Okay? I hope all of you are aware of this Plasma donor, have you heard of this term plasma donor? No. So basically, now what, what is it? Yeah. So what is happening nowadays, right? So suppose someone is COVID positive, right? Suppose someone became COVID positive. Okay. But they healed, right? They healed. Okay. So they got immunity from that, suppose, right? So they take the plasma of that person, right, this plasma only, and try to use it for either developing immunity in any other person, something like that, right? Okay. So, it is just like blood donation only, but instead of all the things, it will take your plasma. Okay. Now, this is your white blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells. Now, when you talk about white blood cells, so they act like a guard, okay? Right, they act like a guard. For example, suppose if some uh, like rowdy people try to enter your township, 
right? So obviously they'll be stopped by the guards, right? Yes or no? Think about it. Yes? Right? Yes. So obviously when you talk about our body, okay, so our body, if any foreign, yeah, in any foreign object, right? Foreign organism, right? Be it bacteria, viruses, if they try to enter our body, okay, these white cells will fight them back. Okay, got it? Right, everyone? Right? Okay, now, the third component, right? The third component of blood is, I hope all of you have observed, is something called platelets, right? So what is platelets? Now, if you see this, have you ever had a cut? Tell me, cut in your hand or somewhere, right? Now, what happens, what happens after the cut? Tell me, what happens after the cut? Right? Blood comes out. Okay. Then after one hour, after two hours, they try to solidify, right? They kind of solidify. Yes or no? Right? Why it stops? Because they kind of solidify. Yes or no? Think about it. Right? Now suppose, suppose if that doesn't happen, suppose if that never happened, then what will happen? Tell me, what will happen? Then the blood will keep on flowing even from the small cuts. Yes or no? Tell me guys. Right? If the blood will not solidify, if the blood will not clot, right? Then the blood will keep on flowing even from the small cut. Right? Got it? Yes, it won't stop now, right? It won't stop because it will keep on flowing and then you might have serious complication because of loss of blood, right? Okay, got it? So that is one of the major portion, right? Or sorry, that is one of the most important role of these platelets, right? So what they do, they have some kind of chemicals, right? Which make them solidify okay make them solidify as soon as they come in contact with your air okay got it right and by being solidified or basically the term is clotting okay they block the path of the other bloods to flow okay got it yes right got it i hope all of you got the basic idea okay now if someone asks right if someone say Okay, that I'm having uh, less platelets counts, right? So this is a bad thing or normal thing? Having less platelets is bad thing or normal thing? Bad thing, right? Because if suppose that person have an injury, okay, suppose if that person is having an injury, right? He might have higher blood loss. Yes or no? Tell me. Think about it. Right? Now, if someone have, yes, 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 that's what I'm saying, Aditya, vitamin K, which is present in your platelets, right? Helps in clotting, okay? Now, suppose if someone have less red blood cells, then tell me, if someone have less red blood cells, then what happens? They will have deficiency of Hemoglobin, yes or no, tell me, right? Okay, and if someone have, yes, low, no, immunity is with white blood cells. If someone have less white blood cells, then they might have low immunity, got it, right? So there's a minimum number of all the three components that should be present in our blood, okay, right? We'll discuss that minimum number. I don't remember that, but I'll just tell you, okay, right? Got it? So I hope all of you understood that the blood contains plasma, okay, which is basically a colorless liquid, colorless kind of liquid or light, yellow light liquid. It consists of all the components, right? Okay. Cellular components. This means red blood cells, which do the transporting of gases, white blood cells, which can fight infections, and platelets, which are actually cellular fragments, and they're involved with helping your blood clot very important when there's damage to the body.
Red blood cells have an iron-containing protein called hemoglobin, and that is where the red coloring of blood comes from. So when we're talking about blood and we're just introing the circulatory system, we're going to focus on how this blood moves around in the human body. Human heart anatomy observes the heart divided into two distinct and separated partitions, a deoxygenated or low oxygen partition and an oxygenated partition. There are some human congenital heart conditions that can result in this oxygenated and deoxygenated blood mixing, however. Right, so I hope all of you understood what is the meaning of deoxygenated and oxygenated partitions. Tell me, yes or no? Right, now just taking this example of same, same post office, right? So we have incoming uh, males and outgoing males. Yes or no? Tell me, incoming males and outgoing males, right? Or a water distribution system. Then we have incoming water and then outgoing or waste water. Yes or no, right? So I can say that, okay, the job of blood is, one of the job of blood is to supply oxygen to our each and every cell, okay, right? So I can say that if, if suppose, if everything is mixed up, right, won't, don't you think that the, that will be like a cumbersome task for heart, right? Because the task of heart, right, is to pump the oxygenated blood, right, which is full of oxygen to our body, and then take the blood, right, which is deprived of oxygen, right? Yes or no? Tell me, right? So obviously in herd, we should have two chambers, right? One to pump out fresh blood, right, which is oxygenated blood, and second chamber to suck in or to take back your low oxygen blood or deoxygenated blood. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Right, got it. Now, you should be very careful now because this hose have lots and lots of parts. Okay, lots and lots of parts. So I'll be taking it slow. I'll be explaining each and every part. Okay, after some time, but you should take note of each and every part. Okay, you should take note of each and every part. But before that, do you want to like see how the actual hurt may look like? Tell me. Right, or how the actual circulatory system might look like. Okay, wait, I'll just show you, okay? Okay, I'll show you. Suppose this is our body, right? Suppose this is our body, okay, right? Now, if this is a body, now just imagine remove the skin and all. So this, how, this is how this circulatory system might look like, okay? Now, when you talk about this, right, you can see the heart pumping the blood, right? And as we already saw that the blue color and red color is just for identifying that blood, right, is going out and coming in. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no, right? When you talk about red blood, it means the oxygenated blood is going out from this heart, right? Or pumping out from the heart, right? But when you talk about this blue, okay? So blue is basically the representation it's not that the blood will be blue okay but blood won't be blue right have you seen like obviously i'm talking about human blood right human blood won't be blue now nah? right they'll be red only the only difference is the level of redness might change because of the presence of oxygen right but mostly it will be same okay got it right the shade of the color red might change, that's it, okay? Yes, it is just for presentation. Now, if you see this, if you see this, right, we have a hood and can you see all the other part of our body, right? Identify? No, 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 right? Nerves are not red and blue. Nerves are just normal, right? Skin color like that, right? Okay, it's the composition of blood, right? Okay, which makes it look like either greenish or bluish, okay, right, got it, got it out of, okay, now, if you see this, right, if you see this, okay, we have a hood, right, and two main, two main pipes, I'll just term it as pipes, okay, right, I'll see what, I'll say what is the name, but 
for now just think about the pipes right okay one big red one and one blue one okay right got it so one is taking away oxygen from the heart and one is bringing the deoxygenation from from the heart right okay now let's see now, if you see the heart right if you see the heart so we can say that when you talk we have a muscle right which is very peculiar why because this muscle will contract and expand regularly right so that the heart will act as blood right now if you see this right if you see if you see this so i can say that when you talk about this pipes okay so the pipes are basically of two types first the blue one and the red one so the red one are called as arteries right the red one are called as arteries okay right and blue one are called as veins now i, I hope all of you can see your veins in your hand tell me right especially around your palm okay a small bulge of your vein right now it might seems like okay it is like a bit of greenish yes or no bit of greenish right near wrist right but obviously suppose if any one of you have donated blood right or doctor might have taken blood for any reason for any test or any reports right anything right the blood itself is red only na right or do you see a uh, blue blood or green blood like that no right it is red only right so i can say that just because of the yes just because of the tone of the skin as well as the red color of blood right it seems like greenish or bluish okay got it tell me got it hurt is again right hurt is neither it is like blackish red kind of thing okay it's like that right almost the same color as this right I, i'll show you so the first question that you should ask okay just come back to this the first question you should ask is oxygenated blood right oxygenated blood is carried by arteries or veins tell me arteries or veins oxygenated blood is carried by arteries very good right arteries very good ara very good ragini right very good so everyone should remember manita mansa yukti akshit everyone right red one is arteries not alters arteries a r t r i e s right arteries right red one arteries right red one arteries right a r t e r i e s okay right so red oxygenated blood red oxygenated blood yes very good esther okay right and deoxygenated blood is carried by veins right which is either blue or right it is represented by blue by the way it is not blue is, okay yes brinda that's why na right that's why dark red means it consists of more oxygen okay right okay now so this is the major portion but we know that both arteries as well as veins have a very small tiny tube like structures called as capillaries right yes or no tell me yes or no right okay so both both veins as well as arteries right have a very tiny right tiny tube like structure right a complex structure which is like capillaries yes very good so if you see this if you see this right try to see this okay so i can say that okay the blood continuously flows in as well as flows out of this heart so i should ask myself okay if it is continuously right flowing in flowing out how does that this, this happens okay how does this happens now everyone try to understand try to visualize okay i'll show you the diagram actual diagram of or actual working of heart right so please pay attention okay right now think about it okay now this is for cross section of heart right it is the cross section of heart right now 
what can you see here? Tell me, what can you see here? Different holes, right? Then, don't you think this looks like a pump, right? So these portion, right, are kind of door. Yes or no, like doors. Yes, agree. These portion like doors, right? These one, these one, right? These, these. Okay, I'll use these. This, this one, this one, this one, this one, right? Okay, they are called as vaults. They are called as vaults. Okay, vaults, right? Which is your one-sided door. One-sided door. Okay, right? Now, if you think about this, right? We have chamber, right? This is first chamber, second chamber, third chamber, fourth chamber, right? So we have like chamber. Yes, okay, got it. And each chamber, right, is divided by this walls, doors. Okay, right, right, everyone. So let's see. Okay, now when you talk about this, this earth, right, this chamber, this chamber is called as right atrium, right, this upper, right. So this is left, upper left portion is right atrium. Right and right, right atrium, and this is your left atrium. Okay, then the lower portion is ventricle, right ventricle, and left ventricle. Now, sometimes you might be confused, right, that atrium is above or ventricle. So just think like this A comes first or V comes first. Think like this, right? A comes first, yes. So atrium is above the ventricles. Okay. Right, everyone? Got it? Right? Okay. Yes, A for atrium, A for above, as simple as that. Right? Now, this is the representation. Okay, we have right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Okay, my next question is, okay, so I'm having two type of blood. I'm having deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood yes or no right try to yes try to imagine right try to imagine the whole scenario okay now what should happen think about it right okay suppose right think about it. suppose okay blood right blood first of all is suppose blood comes inside your heart right the first question is from where it should come that's your first question right okay second okay if it is coming inside the heart, right? In which chamber it is coming, right? Then it is about oxygenated blood or deoxygenated blood. Tell me, deoxygenated blood, right? Because when you talk about coming, then the deoxygenated blood will come in the, right? Heart, right? Then it will go to where, tell me. Then it will go to where? Deoxygenated blood will go to where? No, after heart, I'm talking about after heart, right? Lungs, very good, right? Lungs, okay, right? So after lungs, right, it should come back to heart, yes or no, right? And then from heart again to our body. So I can say that, okay, I'm having two things, right? One is incoming waiting chamber and one is outgoing waiting chamber. Yes or no? Think about it. Right? Yes? Okay. Let's try to visualize the process. Let's try to visualize the process. Okay? Let's, let's see. Yes, obviously, Shavya, blood goes to lungs, na? right? Now, where do you think? Where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place? We have studied it, right? Tell me. The exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen takes place in lungs, na, right? Between capillaries and alveoli, right? So obviously, right? Obviously, blood is your delivery agent, right? Blood is your postman, yes or no? So obviously, he should go there, na, right? Got it, Shravya? Everyone, just try to think, right? Don't memorize. Try to think. 
okay yes okay now these walls right so first of all step by step heart is divided into four chambers right upper chamber is your atrium right atrium left atrium lower chamber ventricles right ventricle left ventricle okay right then after this we have valves as i told you valves okay so valves so the name of these valves is we have right this is called a tricuspid valve okay tricuspid valve right the name is different you have to remember tricuspid valve then mitral valve aortic valves and pulmonic valve now in this right in this wait right so basically these valves are like doors yes or no tell me these valves are like doors right so it will either let blood come out come in or let oxygen go out sorry let blood go out got it yes or no think about it okay this pulmonary right okay this pulmonary is associated with lungs right so basically this is the valve right which is attached to right attached to a vein called as pulmonary vein okay pulmonary vein which goes to lungs right so we'll see this wait step by step we'll see don't worry right let's see see i hope all of you seeing this what is happening blood is coming from here yes or no right blood is coming from here I'll just draw it blood is coming from here right okay in this chamber then it's going to this chamber then it is pumped back going out to this chamber right then again coming from this chamber then in this chamber then going out in this chamber yes or no think about it right i'll show you the animation once again but don't you think that this is what happening okay the deoxygenated blood coming in what coming in which section tell me what which is this section this is right atrium right then the tricuspid valve right okay tricuspid valve opens it comes into right ventricle okay right then go to pulmonary 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 valve and pulmonary vein got it then it goes to lungs then it goes to lungs okay this will go to lungs right from the lung okay suppose we have okay i'm just very bad at drawing okay suppose we have lung this is lungs okay right lungs so this will go to lungs okay the oxygen come outside will be exchanged then again the fresh blood will come back in this right mitral valve okay then it will go to aorta got it yes or no right left ventricle then anyone have any issues tell me right i hope all of you are visualizing visualizing this right don't worry we will see step by step again in the previous video don't worry right okay let's see right so i hope all of you can see now all, all of you can visualize now right that blood is going from here coming from here in this first then this then it is pumped back to our blood so see when you talk about this right okay so i can say that blood coming from this <clears throat> pulmonary right okay got it right to left atrium yes or no left atrium right then to left ventricle step by step okay to left ventricle then it is pumped in step by step right aorta yes or no right okay got it now i hope all of you understood now in aorta right it goes to artery arteries aorta remember like this right it goes to capillaries okay then here the exchange takes place right the oxygen is used okay and carbon dioxide is released right then the deoxygenated blood goes to veins right got it veins okay then come back to 
heart, right? Through a opening, right? This this right opening is called as vena cava. This is called as vena cava. Okay, vena cava, right? Remember, step by step, write it down and remember. Now, see, this was your vena cava, right? So from here, the blood comes inside your right atrium, okay? And there we have a tell me, there we have a door which is a tricuspid valve, right? Then tricuspid valve will open and will come back to right ventricle, right? Right ventricle, got it? Right ventricle, okay? Now after this, after this, it will go to pulmonary artery, yes or no? Right, that is something you have to remember, okay? Got it, right? Then again, it will go to heart, right? Okay. Anyone have any issues? Tell me. Anyone have any issues? Think about it. I hope all of you understood the process. Now, I've already sent this. Okay, this one. This one I'll send, right? This one I haven't sent. So I'll just send this one also, right? But I hope everything is very crystal clear now. Yes, Shravya, that's why you have to write it down step by step. We will see once again. Don't worry, right? We will see once again. But I hope all of you. We will see once again, okay? Four, now that there are four walls, right? Don't worry, we'll see once again, right? Okay, we'll see once again, right? Okay, now, the second, so I hope all of you understood this, right? So, we will see once again, okay? Another video with steps, right? With steps. Got it, right, everyone? Okay, ready? Right? Okay. Okay, everyone, let's see the other video. More on that at the end. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Think A for away. Arteries are typically oxygen rich, but there are exceptions. Veins generally carry blood to the heart. Veins typically are oxygen poor, but there are exceptions. Capillaries are small blood vessels and it is at the capillary level where oxygen is delivered to organs and tissues and where carbon dioxide will be picked up to travel back to the lungs. So looking at this heart, the right side, and that's the person's right, so for you it will look opposite, pumps deoxygenated blood and the left side pumps oxygenated blood. We can also see four chambers, the right atrium and right ventricle and the left atrium and the left ventricle a bit, so that helps you remember. Remember the A's for atria are at the top of the heart, V for ventricles are at the bottom of the heart. Atria also have thinner walls than the thicker wall ventricles. The heart also contains valves, which we'll see when we get to tracing the pathway of blood. The valves are one-way structures that help separate the chambers and also prevent backflow of blood. Ready to take the adventure of a lifetime? An adventure tracing the pathway of blood through the heart? We're going to start with blood that is in a human toe. This blood is deoxygenated. It needs to get to the heart so that it can be pumped to the lungs to pick up the oxygen and then be spread throughout the body. It's going to get there through the vena cava, inferior vena cava to be specific, as the superior vena cava is above the heart. The blood enters the right atrium. The right atrium contracts, pushing the blood through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts, pumping the blood through the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary artery. By the way, when you see the word pulmonary, it likely involves lungs. The pulmonary artery takes blood to the lungs. The lungs are where red blood cells in the blood will take on oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Now this blood is oxygenated. It needs to return to the heart so that the heart can pump it throughout the body. The oxygenated blood travels through a pulmonary vein to the left atrium. The left atrium contracts and the blood travels through the mitral valve, also known as the bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle. The left ventricle contracts and pumps the blood through the aortic valve and out a major artery known as the aorta. The aorta is a major artery that carries oxygenated blood throughout the body. Now, I don't want to neglect. Sorry, I was mute. Okay, so see this. So 
So I'll explain this. I hope all of you understood this. Just raise me, just uh, message me, guys. This is the step by step process. Okay. Now I'm not muted. Now all of you can hear me now. Yes. Right. Tell me. Think about it. Think about it. Now this is something that you have to remember. Okay. But I hope all of you visualize this. Okay. Got it. Tell me. Yes or no. Everyone. Shavya. Now this is not that confusing. Understood, everyone. Think about it. Yes. Very good. Very good. Right. So if I ask you, if I ask you, right. Now suppose. Think about it. Just think about it. Suppose you have to pump blood, right? Then the chamber will expand or contract. Tell me. Think about it. If I have to pump blood, right? Pump out, it will contract or expand. Pump out. I hope all of you remember the basic. Yes, very good. Contract, right? Think about your balloon, na? Right? Think about your balloon. Okay, right? If you squeeze the balloon, if you contract, right? And if you expand the balloon, air will come in. The same thing will happen with lungs also. Yes or no? Right? Got it? So can I say that? Okay, can I say that? Right? That when the walls of your yes walls of your atrium or ventricle, right? When it contracts, it will pump out blood. Right? It will expand. It will pump in blood. Okay. Now that's why that is your heartbeat, right? That's your heartbeat because it is continuous contraction and expansion of your muscles, right? Okay. Now see. If you see this, right? If you see this, right? What makes this? Because actually, this is not contracting, expanding, right? You see this skin-colored muscles, right? Okay, or everything. Okay, this is called as a special type of muscle called as cardiac muscles, right? Cardiac tissue. Okay, got it, right? So I can say that in heart we have a special type of tissue called as cardiac tissue. Okay, right? And the role of that tissue, the role of that muscle is just to keep on contracting and expanding. Okay, got it? Yes, Shavya, blood enters in right atrium. See, na, see, see, see this pathway, right? This is of incoming and this is outgoing, right? Okay, so just see this from inferior vena cava, and right, it comes into what? Tell me. This right atrium, right? Got it from right atrium. So I'll just use this red color over here. Okay, red color here. After this, it will right travel from tricuspid valve. This is tricuspid valve into right ventricle. Now from right ventricle, it will go to pulmonary arteries, right? Now again, it, you might see that this is so we have this as well as this both, right? Okay. This is one cross section. It is your three D, right? Okay. So this and this both are pulmonary arteries. Okay, right. Now uh, from here, right. So there's one thing that you remember. This is deoxygenated blood going to lungs. That's why it is your pulmonary artery. Do not get confused. No, normally people get confused and tell it as veins. Okay. So this is one thing that you have to remember, right? This is one thing you have to remember while naming. Okay. Right. Even though this is a deoxygenated blood going to lungs, it is your artery. It is your artery, right? And even though the oxygenated blood is coming here, it is veins, right? Right. But we studied that the oxygenated blood is carried by arteries, right? And the deoxygenated blood carried by veins. So don't you think that here the nomenclature is a bit opposite? Tell me, yes or no? Right. Right. So this is how it is. Okay. We don't have any argument regarding that. Right. Okay. No, in this case only. In this case, right. Just in the, just in the heart. Right. Not overall. In heart. Right. Okay. Got it. Right. Yeah. That's why. Right. That's why I told you this. We have to remember this. Okay. Right. Because normally blue. 
yes normally blue right blood vessels are your veins and red one are arteries but in this case especially in case of heart when it is going to right lungs okay right or when oxygen is coming in the heart it is opposite right just the nomenclature i don't know why but this is the nomenclature got it tell me got it everyone got this yes or no okay so i hope all of you got this i hope all of you understood the human circulatory system anyone have any issue in human circulatory system tell me think about it everyone right this one pick is your short notes this one pick is your short notes which you can write in your notebook okay this one pick is your short notes okay right so you can take this snapshot of this right okay and write down in your own notes right you can just write in words that right so this is your flow chart okay easy got it right okay so we will have a 5 minutes break we will have a 5 minutes break till then try to right see this and write it in your notebook okay got it everyone got it yes yes in exam it will come right in exam it will come and see this is not just i we will see your textbook also right okay you have studied this is this is the concept of 7th as well as 10th okay so you have right okay i hope all of you can hear me guys very good so we studied this we'll just revise what we have studied then we will play kahoot okay right okay now when we talk about circulatory system we talked about blood right that what is blood right what is the composition of blood got it okay right the composition of blood is plasma right then red blood cells white blood cells and platelets right got it right now do you know how can we like have you ever seen this in movies that how plasma is separated from your red blood cells white blood cells right they they take a test tube right put blood in this right okay put your blood in this and then ro they rotate it they rotate it okay very fast they rotate it right then you will have red blood cells and everything at deposit and we have white liquid at the above of this no i'll show you the pic i'll send you the pic okay right send you the video right how plasma is separated from the blood okay that's interesting process we will study that process next year okay right okay so i can say that when you talk about blood it consists of mainly three parts right we have plasma which contains all the minerals all the uh, cells right then they have cells which is your red blood cells white blood cells right and then we have platelets right so red blood cells contains hemoglobin got it right hemoglobin right yes okay now hemoglobin is basically right yes okay so the work of hemoglobin is to yes to carry oxygen okay from the lungs to different part of body that's the job of hemoglobin then we have white blood cells right white blood cells are basically like protectors they're like guards okay they fight against the germs and the foreign bodies okay which enters in our body right got it right then we have platelets so we know that the platelets contain vitamin k right which when come in contact with your atmosphere or air right clots yes or no right clots and that clotting right helps the blood flow to stop got it because of platelets okay or platelets now after that we have blood vessels now blood vessels are of how many types tell me blood vessels are generally of two types arteries and veins 
okay then both of them have very small mesh like structure or tubes called as capillaries okay which is present at the exchange point what's the meaning of exchange point tell me right it's not water okay right it's not water shave it the basically minerals present in water or salt present in water it's like that right okay it's like our defense mechanism okay that our pain receptors right get the signal that something is uh, happening to the cutter area that's why it gives you signal okay right okay got it so i can say that blood vessels are of two types arteries and veins now tell me i hope all of you know which carries your oxygenated blood and which carries your deoxygenated blood arteries carries oxygenated blood right means it carry oxygen from right lungs to different part of body right and pumped by heart right and veins right bring back deoxygenated blood yes oxygenated arteries deoxygenated veins okay got it very good very good everyone right then what is pulse tell me what is pulse what is pulse everyone yes it is the number of times right number of times your heart right number of times your heart expand and contract within a minute okay got it it is number of times your heart contract or expand okay or that is a throbbing is called pulse right or pulse rate got it everyone tell me got it so what is the general pulse rate 72 to 80 right now have you ever like seen this situation when you are scared or when you play right very hard right your heart beat increases yes or no tell me right why we have already studied this right why your heart beat increases tell me why your pulse rate increases because we need more oxygen right everyone we need more oxygen so in order to supply more oxygen okay the heart needs to beat faster na right everyone got it i hope all of you understood yes very good right very good so all of you can feel your heart beat or pulse rate okay then after this after blood we had what tell me heart right okay now we have veins right then we have heart now if you see this this is a very rough diagram right this is very rough diagram okay so i can say that from heart okay the veins carry the blood from the capillaries to the heart right then from heart the deoxygenated blood goes to lungs through pulmonary artery see this is the difference right that you guys were confused about okay okay so this will be blue one this will be blue one okay just remember this right veins are generally blue veins are generally blue right okay but this is not pulmonary vein this is oxygenated blood which is coming from the lungs so this is blue that is one difference that you have to remember okay got it pulmonary artery right carries deoxygenated blood from heart to lungs and pulmonary vein carries tell me oxygenated blood from lungs to heart right then artery will carry from heart to every places got it right got it okay right now then we talked about heart now if we talk about heart right we have already studied about this heart okay right we have four chambers right which is your right atrium left atrium right ventricle left ventricle right is there anyone who still have any doubt about heart and the process of heart right so this is the diagram that you have to draw okay so this is this as well as this both are vena cava yes or no tell me right this is also vena cava and this is also vena cava okay okay very good everyone right very good very good right so we studied till this what is heartbeat we studied okay so we 
Okay, so obviously we can feel the heartbeat by using our hand also or using funnel also. But obviously doctors might require very sophisticated instrument. Yes, one of example, suppose your heart is beating fast or your heart is beating uh, fast regularly. What does that mean? It might mean that there might be some blockage in your arteries. Think about it. Yes or no? Right? Think about it. Yes or no? Right? But how to observe that? Okay, for that we have to hear in the minute sound of your heartbeat, right? So in order to do that, we have an instrument called stethoscope. Yes, very good, right? Stethoscope, okay, got it, right? Right, everyone. You can make your small stethoscope at your home also. Okay, got it? So this was your circle, yeah. This was your circulatory system in humans. So I hope all of you understood circulatory system in humans. It is not in left or right, it is slightly in between, right? Slightly in middle. And it is approx the hand of your fist, sorry, size of your fist, right? Normally the size of heart is according to the size of your fist, normally, right? Everyone's fist, okay? Fist, fist, right? Got it? Right, everyone? Now, the question is, right, Nikitan, got it? So suppose if your fist is, right, if you're big, your fist will be big, so your heart will be big accordingly. Okay, now, this is about, yes, so this is about the blood requirements of all the other cells, all the other organs. What about heart itself? Because heart also require blood, na? Tell me, heart also require blood, it also consists of cells, okay? So there must be some kind of veins as well as arteries inside the heart also to supply the nutrients to heart. Right, everyone? Let's see that. Okay, agree? Let's see that. Blood supply through coronary arteries. Coronary arteries branch off the aorta and eventually deliver blood into capillaries. These capillaries deliver oxygen and glucose to the heart. Coronary veins will take the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium where the blood will eventually travel the pathway to become oxygenated. Trace the pathway of blood again, starting with the right atrium. Yeah, sorry, I was muted, right? Yeah, so we will start again, okay? Right, everyone? Okay. Needs its own blood supply for delivery of oxygen and glucose. The heart can receive this blood supply through coronary arteries. Coronary arteries branch off the aorta and eventually deliver blood into capillaries. These capillaries deliver oxygen and glucose to the heart. Coronary veins will take the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium where the blood will eventually travel the pathway to become oxygenated. In fact, to quiz yourself, can you pause the video and trace the pathway of blood again, starting with the right atrium? Okay, all together. Right atrium. Everyone, please try to fill it. Okay, you also try to fill it one by one, okay? In your mind, try to fill it along with this video. Okay, got it? Right? Yes, agree? You will remember, okay? Okay, let's start now. Right, let's start everyone. Just in your mind, okay? You don't have to speak up in your mind. Tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonary valve, pulmonary artery, lungs, back through the pulmonary vein, left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic valve, aorta. Takes it to the body and then it will eventually return through the vena cava back to the right atrium again. Whew, it almost makes you want to turn it into a song, but we won't. 
The significance of the pathways, how they interact, the coordination of contraction, and many more elements are part of every beat of your heart. A human heart beats over 100,000 times per day, so it's significant that every beat is coordinated and blood is directed where it should go. The complexity of the cardiac cycle, which is the coordinated sequence of the heart's contractions and relaxations, isn't something this short video can go into. Hopefully a separate video on that soon. One last thing. There are many conditions in which the heart doesn't function correctly. Anatomically, some heart conditions change the pathway flow of blood. One example that we had mentioned before is an atrial septal defect. The septum is the muscular wall that separates the right and left side of the heart. So a septal defect could mean an opening and oxygen-rich blood could mix with oxygen-poor blood. Depending on the size, this can cause further problems, such as an abnormal heartbeat, stroke, or potentially heart failure in severe cases. Some medications can help the symptoms, or surgery can be an option. There continues to be more advancements for treating cardiovascular conditions. If you have interest in the amazing features Okay, that's it, right? So last one was basically the complications in heart. There are many complications, right? Which was one I was talking about is your blockage, right? The second is this. Okay, wait, sorry. Second was this. Then we have the breakage of heart tissues, right? Stroke is basically, see, just think about it now, right? Suppose, uh, just think about it, what, you, what happens when you choke, right? What happens when you need oxygen, you need air, but you choke. Think about it. Yes or no, right? The same thing happens with your heart, right? Suppose, right, it is choked. Okay. So the heartbeat might be very, like it needs to be very uh, fast. Okay. Right. Yes. Think about it. Or it might beat right, irregularly. Now those conditions are basically your heart attack, right, or heart failure, those kind of things. Okay, got it? Right. So I hope all of you understood, we will play one Kahoot. Not one, we'll play one more, more than one out. Okay. So I hope all of you understood this. All of you got the concept of this, right? Okay, let's play everyone, let's play. So we will play with, uh, circulatory system. We will play three Kahoots today. Okay, everyone try to be ready. Okay, guys, try to be ready for the Kahoot. The code is 251 Five one six six eight four. Everyone, please join. Everyone needs to join. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Tuvishka might be. He might be Tuvishka. Okay, right everyone, we will start now. Okay, we will start now.
also got it Pulse is due blood flow in arteries and normal resting person has 72 to 80 beats per minute. Due to it is pulse is due to blood flow. True, right? It is true. Right? It is true. Okay. Next. Arteries and veins are joined by a network of dash. Okay, man. Oh, those who are having internet issues, please answer in the chat box. Those who are having internet issues, please message in the chat box. Very good, Akshit. Very good, Shravya. Yes, capillaries, right, everyone? Capillaries, no? Right? The capillaries. Pulmonary, pulmonary veins carry oxygen rich blood from lungs to heart. True or false? I stressed on this. I stressed on this everyone, I stressed on this. True, right? True, I stressed on this now, even though it is vain, right? Don't get confused by vein because when you talk about pulmonary, right? It is opposite, right? Pulmonary vein carries oxygen rich blood and pulmonary arteries carry oxygen deficient blood. Yes or no? I stressed it, Mansa, stressed it, right? Okay. Last question, last question guys of this Kahoot. Presence of walls, na, right? Because we studied walls as a one directional door, right? Yes or no? Think about it. Yes or no? Got it? Yes, Akshit. Presence of walls. Let's see the podium. Who is third? Harsh. Very good, Harsh. Second? Esther. Very good, Esther. Who is first? Ragini, very good Ragini. Runners up. At Vishka and Alitya. Very good everyone. Right? So let's play one more Kahoot, everyone. Please make sure your uh, internet works. Okay? Right? Easy, easy everyone. Very good, all 18 answers. I hope all 18 answers are correct now. Five students made mistake. It's it's atrium na, right everyone? A above. Right, A above atrium. Next. Very good. Esther keeping second position. Ara fourth position. Very good. Madhur Ragini Shavya. Very good. Location of heart. Right. Write it down. Keep it. Just write it down. 
the answer is given. Okay, that is random question. Okay, so no one got because most of your answer was correct. Okay, right. Most of your answer was correct. Don't worry. I just said this, right, guys? I hope all of you are listening to me. I just said the answer of this one. Yes, true. Who said false? Those who said false, right? It was a mistake. Next, heartbeat is because of. Read the options first, everyone. Read the options first. Yes, right? Rhythmic mistakes, please note it down. Now oh, there's a change of order. Only Shravya is in top five. From the first one, right? From the first question one. The following instrument, right? Used by doctors to amplify sound of heartbeat. Yes or no? Easy, easy. Yes, no, nah, that was stethoscope, right? Stethoscope. Madhur and Harsha switched places. Last question. Let's see who can keep their places. The red part of the picture is dash part of stethoscope. Diaphragm, right? It is diaphragm, na? Earpiece and chest piece, right? Earpiece is basically the one which is inside the ear of the doctor, right? Chest piece is the one which is kept on the chest, right? Okay, so it is diaphragm. Okay, let's see who got it correctly. Vishka, third, very good, to Vishka. Kept the place. Second, Tanmay, very good, Tanmay. Who is first? Purvi, surprising. Very good, Purvi. Fourth, Harsha, fifth, Shavya. Congratulations, everyone. Right? So we will have one last Kahoot. Right? Ready? One last Kahoot. Okay. So we had Kahoot on blood vessels, we had Kahoot on heart, right? This is on blood, okay? I hope all of you remember the concepts, let's see. Right, guys, try to join soon. Yes, Aditya, very good. Which intern do you have, Arav? Switch to BSNL, optic fiber, when I had very bad internet. Okay, 291-5800. 291-5800. In code is 291-5800. Those 
those who have banned it just message in the chat box no no issues right try to message change yesterday arab it is very bad it is horrible Eighteen strings, right? Nineteen, very good. Right? Let's start now. Yeah, BSNL is better. Yestel is horrible. I have to switch Yestel. Uh, last, last. Uh, yes, yes. After optic fiber, yes, optic fiber. Otherwise, it was also horrible. We are talking about Wi-Fi. Okay, let's see. Blood is dash states of matter. Body liquid gas. Very good, very good. Arav, you are correct. Right? Who made mistake? <laughs> Who said it is gas? <laughs> Blood is not gas, right? Yeah, Manita, correct. Right? Okay, very good. Next. the cell of the cells of blood which helps to fight against infections tell me easy everyone very good very good everyone white blood cells right white blood cells guys okay it's white blood cells wow so vishka is keeping her position very good esther is also keeping her position this time tanna also Are they giving competition? Yes, yes. Hemoglobin is only responsible for red color of blood. True or false? Okay, you think? True, right? True, na? Right? Hemoglobin is responsible for red color of the blood. because it is red blood cells and red blood cells contain hemoglobin yes or no fourth question the cells of blood that helps in blood clotting very easy we have discussed it tell me guys blood clotting no you you discussed it na platelets right it is platelets yes or no not plasma platelets we discussed it right that we try to find make a kind of mesh right or web like structure whenever it comes in contact with air and try to solidify right vitamin k is responsible for that right next last question guys last question be very fast blood only helps in transport of oxygen to the cells true or false false yes right because right they have other works also na right they is responsible for providing energy also if you remember right and all the nutrients also we have studied this in digestive system yes or no tell me yes or no so basically they are the carriers of whatever is required in the body let's see the podium third akshit very good aditya very good aditya second question this time who is first abhinav surprising Right, Abhinav. Vishka fourth, fifth Madhur. Vishka lost in one question. Otherwise, she was was first till most of the time. Okay, very good, everyone. I hope all of your concept is clear. No issues, Niketan. That's just a game, right? Okay. No, Esther. Next Kahoot in next class. Okay, because expiratory system we haven't completed, na? Right. 